Friends, well, uh, this is PM Pulse, and we are talking about a Microsoft Project and various tips and tricks of Microsoft Project. In this series, we are only going to show you the critical path. Once you, you know, you've just made a plan, you have done all the predecessors, you got the durations. The first thing, uh, did you notice that we don't have the resource names entered yet? Well, very frankly, you should know your critical path before you assign resources. I have found a lot of people assigning the resources and then looking for critical path. Well, the concepts aside, I wanted to show you a very neat trick with the Microsoft Project. See, I need to know my critical path because I should assign my very best resources and those are the activities I just do not want them to get delayed. Critical path also keeps on changing. Now, what I want my Microsoft Project to do is no matter what, whatever is the critical path, whichever the activities which are on critical path, they should, uh, I mean, it should always keep on telling me, dude, these are the activities which are on critical path. Now, there are various, various ways to do it. I can actually go to Gantt chart, or, well, actually tracking Gantt, and do a rather complicated thing of watching the critical path, you know, with these bars. Frankly, uh, this doesn't help me one bit. All right, there is yet another way. What I can do is I can insert a column, maybe even before duration or maybe after duration. I mean, that's your call. And insert a column. And guess what? In, uh, you know, uh, you can just insert a field name and it's called critical. Yeah, critical. And when I say OK, it is simply going to tell me whether which of these activities which are on critical path, yes, no. Yes for critical path, no for n something which is not on critical path. Uh, this is pretty good too. Uh, of course, it is better than uh, the one we just saw before on tracking GAN. However, this doesn't really solve my problem. You know, how would it be if all the critical activities, I mean the critical path, uh, basically, all the activities which are on critical path, they are visible to me in a different color. It's possible. What I can do is, and here's the neat trick. This is something that I love. I'll just go to Format, say Textiles. From this dialog box, I'm just going to select Critical Tasks. And usually, I give them a red color. You are free to give the color of your choice, green, yellow, blue. Uh, that's your call. I mean, I'm going to stick with red. And then I say, OK. Now, do you see? All the activities which are on critical path have turned red. Now, this is a neat trick. And remember, you heard it from PM Pulse. We know everything about Microsoft Project. Well, we know everything just about anything to do with project management. Remember, we have over 108 different kind of trainings on project management alone. Well, I hope you liked it. Great. See you again with next series.